Hello, one and all. <laughs> <laughs> What a lovely day in central London as my journey begins. Supercars of London on tour again. The Rolls Royce driving past. La Ferrari, baby. Literally vlogging how nice the day is and a LaFerrari drives past. I'm pretty sure it was Chris Evans's. Correct me if I'm wrong. Heading over to St Pancreas to get on the Eurostar to meet up with Sam, seen through glass, as we're going on a little adventure together. But we've got a huge adventure ahead of us, a few trains and a car, and <laughs> quite a lot of miles together. So there's gonna be a lot of energy drinks, I'm sure a lot of sarcasm, but I can't believe I just saw laugh. <laughs> You've never been on the Eurostar. That's my first time, I'm excited. And it's this like... is my first time in at least 24 months. Okay. Two years for you. I mean, 24 months. <laughs> and it feels like I'm in an airport. Well, it's kind of the same, we're checking in, mate. So, um, tickets. Should we check in? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, what time is it? Well, it's pretty early, we're going to be sat on the train for a while. Do you want to do? I don't know what else we do. Let's drink. Get a pink and buy some shirts. Drink. Let's get a drink somewhere. First impressions of the Eurostar? Now I'm working, so. Oh, alright. Doesn't come out very well on the camera. We're just chilling in the cafe. I waited, I waited for one minute until everyone left. <laughs> so that I could oh, vlog. <laughs> we found a cab, a bloody awesome cab. We're in a Lexus, not so much LFA, but it's. Uh, I feel like we're in um, a de derived version of the LFA. Yeah, yeah, same. It's got the same soundtrack. Yeah, that hybrid one. And we've made it to Paris. So we're en route to Ford France with a legend taxi driver who has given us an awesome tour of what Paris is, the different districts, shops. People. And we're having a lot of fun. This is really awesome. And then when we get to Ford France, it's gonna be even better. So we say goodbye to the Lexus taxi man and hello to Ford. <laughs> and it's time to find out what car we're gonna be driving for this weekend for the Monaco F1 Grand Prix. So we're down at Ford France and we wanted a car that was going to be comfortable, it was going to be a lot of fun and both me and Sam wanted to show that even though we did it in the R8 and the 4C last time our European tour, we wanted a bit more fun and that is why we got in contact with Ford and we're like, we need a hot hatch, we need something that's really cool, we're going to have a lot of fun in whilst we're down for the Formula 1 Grand Prix, something that's nimble, something that's very easy to park um, and also good on fuel economy. So we're going to find out all of the above with this. The Ford Fiesta ST in a stunning black Panther paint job with titanium wheels, red brake calipers. We've got the Recaro red and black inserted seats inside. So it's going to be a proper race spec, a real hot hatch, and we've got some epic challenges planned with this car in Monaco. So we're going to jump in. This is a left hand drive manual car. Never done this before. <laughs> And we're going to be driving down eight and a half hours to Monaco, but we're stopping overnight tonight uh, just outside of Marseille so that we can get good rest, have a full day on Friday spotting. And uh, yeah, we've got a little companion there for, uh, to come with us. 
first impressions of driving the Ford Fiesta ST, I'm not driving it. I've got no foot on the pedals. The route is being calculated. There is Taking no... Yeah, we're going the wrong way, but that's standard. <laughs> Follow the road for two kilometers. Is it deaccelerate? It's deaccelerate now. There are traffic disruptions. Uh, you know what route. I think it's got? What's it got? Um, guidance. Radar guidance. Really? I mean, I'm making this up completely, so... Sorry we were for... just cruising at 80 mile an hour with no foot on the pedal and it wasn't Prepare to turn right at exit 34. Got two kilometers and then we're just going to be doing a U-turn and going back the other way. It's road so bloody confusing. 20 minutes into driving the Fiesta ST. One, we've realized that the sat-nav is very difficult to understand because we don't speak the language that it's talking to us in. English. Number two, it's also quite difficult. Yeah, we do speak English, yeah. <laughs> Number two, the sat-nav, it's like one big piece of spaghetti is the best way to describe what we've just experienced. It's a very small screen. It's a um, very small spaghetti. So it's quarter to seven. I'm just going to lock the car on this keyless go Ford Fiesta ST. Quite impressed with it so far. It's been a good little cruise of eating up the miles. And now we're going to eat in a place that Sam isn't great <laughs> at pronouncing. Do you want to give it a go? Hip. No, set, set it fast. Hip up from there. <laughs> Hippopotamonymous. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to eat at the Hippopotamus restaurant, <laughs> get some food, and then get back on the road, and I think I'm going to be chauffeur driven for the remainder of the trip, and Hells, Sam yeah. is going to get... Get my speed on. <laughs> well, to the speed limit. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so we're in Hippopotamus Grill restaurant, me and Sam. Say Hippopotamus. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> this is hilarious. And our food's here. Oh. Perfect timing. Thank you very much. Bon appétit. Thank Merci. you. Yeah, I, I spoke French. <laughs> so, we were just saying how we're the only people in here. How long does it take to cook two burgers? And it comes out right on cue, so we're going to tuck in. You don't want to watch me eat. And next, uh, next view you'll see is me in the passenger seat with Sam behind the wheel, which I'm really scared about because... <laughs> Doesn't know how to drive. <laughs> so now, <laughs> not in control of the car, <laughs> Sam is. Nervous. And <laughs> when was the last time you drove a manual? <laughs> 2002. 2002. No, the I'm driver's joking. door <laughs> open. Oh my god. It's all kicking off. <laughs> what am I getting myself involved in? Oh, what is man. Ford France getting myself? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, so Sam, Sam tried pulling away as well with the handbrake on, which. Um, yeah, it didn't really work. Around here, I think, towards the A6. Left hand side? Right hand side. We're on the right hand side, yeah. Mm. And the time is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> kangarooing! <laughs> 20, pa 20 past 8. And we've still got quite a long way to go. And I think. Not entirely sure whether the sat nav is on or not. Here we go. Woo! Is that not on? No. <laughs> I'll try and work it out. This is that. I'll tell you about the 401 soundtrack. Oh! <laughs> sounds decent over here. <laughs> First fuel stop in the Ford Fiesta ST, and I'm not doing it. And the weird thing is, Sam has had to pay before he's filled up, so he's only put 40 euros in, which is 25 litres. See how much that's given us. See how much that's given us. And whilst Sam has been paying for fuel, I am just going to show you that Felipe Massa is currently outside Casino Square. Hold on, where is the picture? Oh man, that only gave us three quarters of a tank. Did it? Yeah, so it's probably about 50 quid to fill up. Here you go. Update on fuel economy for you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, come here, right. There it is. We've managed to find ourselves <laughs> this hotel, which is like literally right by the motorway. So we're just going to jump on um, and head straight into Monaco. It shortened our journey tomorrow, which is nice. And I'm even getting Sam's bag out of the car, which is even nicer. Oh, man, that's so kind of you. <laughs> and uh, now I'm going to get inside, edit this video. It is half past one. 
no, half past zero, half past midnight, half past zero. Half past zero. So um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This is uh, day one of Monaco. There's hopefully going to be two videos per day coming um, to Supercars of London. We're going to be doing daily vlogs, challenges, supercar spotting. There's just going to be loads and loads of chaos at the Monaco Formula One Grand Prix. And now Sam has started to vlog, so make sure that you check out his vlog as well because um, yeah, we've had a lot of fun and uh, there's different content on both channels. So I'll see you guys tomorrow and um, yeah I can't wait to uh, just bring you all of the videos that I'm hoping to see in Monaco.